Today I want to talk about the best pieces that you can find at Uniqlo right now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I went into my local Sydney store, tried on tons of pieces, and these are the items that I feel like are the very best quality and fit from the brand. Uniqlo is on my list of favorites to shop because you can find really good gems, but at the same time, it is definitely a hit and miss place where there are lots of things that have also disappointed me. So I will be going through those as well during today's video. This video is of course not sponsored, not gifted. So I will be going through each of these pieces and letting you know my honest opinions on all of them. I discovered the Uniqlo U t-shirts about five years ago and I have been talking about them, recommending them to you guys, to my friends, to my boyfriend ever since then. The reason I like these t-shirts is because they're made from 100% cotton, but it is a thicker cotton and it is very kind of silky smooth to the touch. Because it's a thicker weight material, it also has really good longevity. It goes through the wash really well. So after a long time and after lots of washes, it still holds up the quality. This t-shirt comes in a ton of colors. So other than like a basic white or black, you also have some good colors. Um, This one is like a yellowy green shade. I think they call it a beige, but it's definitely got like a greeny yellow tinge to it, which I absolutely love. A color I recently ordered just to kind of show you another alternative is this brown shade. It's a light kind of orangey brown and it's more on the muted side, so not too bright and I feel like this would also fit into a lot of wardrobes very seamlessly. Now that we've talked about why you might like this t-shirt, let's go to the flip side and talk about why you might not like it. If you enjoy wearing those softer, thinner t-shirts, then you probably won't enjoy this thicker weight material. And the benefit of a softer, slinkier t-shirt is that it will tuck more easily. It will kind of fall and glide over the body in a slightly more natural way compared to these thicker, more rigid and structured tees. Another reason why you might not like these is that because they're rigid, they obviously for more on the boxier side versus being more slouchy and effortless, which is kind of what I just said before. If you're considering one of these t-shirts, I also recommend you to size up. I would say at least one size up, but I've gone two sizes up and I still feel like it fits me really well. I'll put my specific size and all the colorways down below. Also for today's video, I purchased a lot of things in store, but I'm definitely not keeping everything. Um, some things, even though they may be lovely, I just have something similar and I can't keep everything. So some things do still have the tag on because I can't keep everything and some pieces will be going back. Over here we've got the Uniqlo bra tank tops where you've got the bra cups inside the tank top so you don't have to wear a bra inside you can just wear the tank. As someone who's quite small chested doesn't need a lot of support or coverage or anything I find these to be really really amazing. The thing is when I'm wearing a tank top I'm always thinking about like the bra strap showing and this just gets rid of the issue. Because it has the cups on the inside and it's also quite fitted I do feel very very held in and it's also like a medium way to slightly thicker material so I do feel very supported in it. My one's 97% cotton, 3% elastane so there is good stretch to it with the elastane but ultimately it is still mostly cotton and very comfortable. If you don't need a lot of support I feel like these tank tops are perfect um, just to get rid of the fuss of sometimes wearing a tank top. In Australia right now this is the only color that they have like left in stock and I do really really want this top in some more neutral colors like maybe a black, navy, or gray. And they can be like my foundational layering pieces in summer, but also like spring and autumn. If you're in the US, I have spotted this top on the online website. So I will try to link it down below if you're interested. One thing to mention with sizing is that I feel like these fit true to size. But because I do have a smaller chest size, I did take one size down and I'm happy with the fit. I would personally not size up in this top because that would lead to some like creasing and bunching and ruching. And I kind of want it to sit a little bit smoother, which it does with the size. In terms of their shirts and blouses, when I just started working, one of the pieces I did buy was a rayon shirt from Uniqlo. This must have been about seven to eight years ago and I did not like that shirt. And the thing I didn't like about the white shirt was that it did feel very hot to wear. I'm okay with white being a little sheer, they all are, but this was just too sheer in my opinion for something that looks so conservative and classic. This on the other hand is a white blouse I purchased about four to six years ago. To be honest, I don't remember. And I have worn this a lot since then because it's just the perfect white cotton blouse. It's light, it's slightly sheer, but not too much. I still see this blouse around Uniqlo. It might not be exactly 100% the same, but it is almost the same. And I feel like with these cotton pieces, you can't go wrong with the Uniqlo prices. You can find these at higher end places, but the quality is honestly very similar and I have found mine to wear extremely well. I have nothing but positive things to say about their lightweight cotton blouses. They wear and wash very well, but I would say skip 
on the rayon pieces. Some of the pieces that really, really surprised me from Uniqlo are their trousers. When I last did this video three years ago, I feel like there weren't many trousers that really inspired me. When I looked this time around, I saw some really beautiful like straight leg or wide leg trousers that I feel like look so much more expensive than they are. I want to talk firstly about the wide leg pleated trouser. This trouser comes in black, it comes in grey, it comes in this cream colour as well as I feel like a check. And these are some of the best kind of affordable trousers I've come across. There are definitely pros and one big con to this trouser but let's kind of start with the pros. Number one pro is that it looks very luxurious on. It looks like a pen you could have purchased at End of a Stories, Arquette or even just from a designer as well. The material has this like really subtle almost like cotton twill kind of like texture to it and because it's not like 100% smooth it's got that tiny texture I do feel like it looks more expensive in terms of the fabric as well I feel like these pants look very beautiful I haven't had to tailor them and they just fit me which does does not happen it does not happen um all my trousers you see have been shortened this just happened to fit. The biggest downside is the fabric composition. It is a recycled polyester, viscose and elastane blend. I've always preferred, especially for classics, to splurge a little bit more and go for something that's 100% wool or at least like 50% wool and a blend. But if I'm going to be honest, those 100% wool trousers or wool blend trousers do still come at like 130 USD minimum when you purchase them from Arquette and end of a stories. This is a third of that price, so if your budget just doesn't stretch that far, if you haven't been able to find trousers you'd like from those stores, I feel like this is actually a very good droop. You can feel the elastane in the pant. I think there's about 5% and it gives the whole pant a little bit of stretch where it's incredibly comfortable to wear in that sense. The recycled polyester viscose, while not at all being my favorite, can't stress that enough, does have the benefit of giving the pant very good drape. And I also feel like it makes the pant very, very smooth. And it's not that crepey polyester that you may find or may think of when you think of polyester trousers. I've got this olive khaki colored pant here, and this is the linen blend tucked wide pant. So this, as the name would suggest, is a linen viscose blend trouser. It's got some natural fiber in there, making it feel just a little bit more luxurious and breathable compared to the last option. I also feel like this trouser is just quite flattering. It's a very straight shape, high rise, and I just feel like it makes the leg look really good similar to what the white trousers did in the last kind of clips. This pant in general is really perfect and I really don't have many negatives to talk about for this trouser. If I was to compare this trouser with the other one, I would say this one feels better overall because it's got the nicer fabric, but the white trouser does look a little bit more polished because it doesn't have that linen fabric in it. It looks a lot more drapey and sleek compared to the linen blend. I really love both of these trousers but I have kept the tag on for this one because I'm thinking about going down a size. I might go in store to try that one on as opposed to the small because it is a little bit large through the waist and hip and I find in general Uniqlo pants tend to run large and oftentimes I will need to size down. So for both of these trousers I would say you can take one size down or if you're in between sizes just go to your smaller size. Something that I won't recommend anymore is Uniqlo denim. So three years ago, Uniqlo denim was one of the pieces that amazed me the most about Uniqlo. They were considered one of my favorite pieces. At the store, I tried on a range of their jeans and none of them, to be honest, looked great. Low rise was, you know, really popular, so I wasn't going to like it. The quality in general, I feel like is also not as good as it was. These are the baggy jeans and these are probably my top pick if I had to choose, but even these, I don't feel like it's super flattering because they are more of a medium rise and I want it to be higher and I also feel like the denim quality feels a little bit flimsy and thin. I feel like it's such a big difference between this and my Levi's that you just can't even compare them. I would also like to say that these jeans um, have a very strong like chemically uh, denim smell to them. It's not uncommon to see this but it is incredibly strong and it must have something I feel like to do with the chemicals used in producing the denim. Let's talk about knitwear now and I'm focusing in on some lighter options for spring summer weather. I saw these cotton cardigans and they come in a range of colors so I decided to bring it back with me in this like corally color, um, this muted brown shade and then also the turquoise. And remember I'm definitely not keeping all of these, I'm going to pick and choose definitely not all of them. What I like about these cardigans is that they're made from 100% cotton, very kind of like open knits that you can wear for spring and summer and they also come in these beautiful like vibrant colors. I find that a lot of Uniqlo colors are not my favorite, they can look a little bit just like 
boring, but these colors feel really fun and really vibrant for spring summer. Starting with fabric, it is 100% cotton, but with cotton knits, they can feel rougher than expected. If I'm wearing these, I personally don't feel like I have to do like a top on the inside, but you absolutely could because they are quite sheer. And then you can of course layer tank tops and t-shirts inside as well and use this as like a light cover up. I like the cut of them where they are more on the crop side, so you don't have to tuck all of this fabric into your skirt or short. And that makes them a little bit easier to wear for the warmer months. I love finding cotton pieces at Uniqlo because these are the things that I feel like you just cannot go wrong. They will wear well, they will be breathable. And if you get it in like a classic cardigan style, there's really not a lot of places it can go wrong. Color wise, these are quite vibrant. So um, you kind of got to ask yourself how much you wear color. With Uniqlo, a lot of their pieces are very flat in texture. Think cotton t-shirts, trousers that are also kind of plain in texture. So pieces like this cotton cardigan, if you're on a budget, they bring a certain texture into the outfit that will make the t-shirt and the trousers just look so much more expensive because it's um, got the texture in the piece. This is not ultra spring summer themed, but in terms of knitwear, one of my favorites has always been the Uniqlo Extra Fine Merino. I've had a navy one again for like three, four, five years. I wear this on my bare skin as the layering piece that I then layer jackets and blazers over. So I saw that they had some brighter colors and I do have some comments to make about the old versus the new style. So with the old one, I feel like the extra small fit me perfectly, whereas I got the same size and it's definitely about one size Bigger. That's probably one of the main things I noticed. Quality is still really lovely. I think that it feels so good on bare skin. I don't feel any itchiness that I could sometimes feel with um, wool. With jackets, I've got an old favorite and a newer discovery. So my old favorite is actually this um, blazer I found in the men's section. This was actually a part of the men's Jill Sander collection. I chose mine in a 2X small and it's a really, really lovely blazer. What I like about it is that it's super, super lightweight, which I feel like could be a flaw if you were looking for something more substantial. But because I have a navy blazer that is more substantial, this was a perfect piece for me to wear as an alternative for spring summer. This one is half lined and a lot of Uniqlo jackets are. Usually I don't like that. I think it makes it look very, very cheap and not like a piece that you're meant to have for like years and years to come. The intention doesn't really feel like it's there. But for this piece, because I wanted to wear it for spring summer, I really like that it doesn't have a very thick, heavy lining. That is a collaboration piece, so not something I can link to, but in the collaborations, don't forget to check out the men's section for blazers. You can size down, and sometimes they actually just feel a lot nicer than what is in the women's collection. This mention is something for my friends who are in the Southern Hemisphere and going into autumn winter. I tend to not like, you know, these super like fluffy pieces that Uniqlo can sometimes do. As a matter of fact, I often really dislike them. But I came across this jacket and I thought the color and texture was really lovely. The color is kind of taupey or it's in between like a beige and olive, but it's just a really stunning neutral tone. It's a crop jacket shape, but it fits quite well through the sleeves and then through the body. So I could have styled this better so it was more, you know, proportion, more flattering. But to be honest, in the winter time when I wear this piece, I'll probably wear it with like pants. So it will be a very boxy, oversized look when I wear this jacket. I could have styled it with like a cute little slip, but it would not be realistic to how I would wear it. So if you're interested in this jacket, know that it can make an outfit feel a bit boxy, but it is also just like the warmest, coziest item. And it's a color that I think is really stunning. I put on my little hat because I want to talk a bit about accessories now. First up, hats at Uniqlo, I feel like are pretty nice. I found this hat made from 100% wool and I feel like it's a really nice kind of winter or autumn hat, but they also come in different canvases and different fabrics for spring, summer. I don't wear a lot of hats, but I've been trying to get better at it because I live in Australia, the sun's very harsh. Um, and obviously it's important for things like, you know, protecting your skin and like, uh, you know, pigmentation and such. So my mom is always recommending that I wear a hat. So I've been trying to with this one. This hat's pretty simple, so I don't have tons to say, but for the price, for the fabric, I'm pretty happy with it. And it's not easy for me to find a hat that I actually like. The final piece that I feel like I have to talk about are the nylon bags. I have so many friends that have this bag. I constantly see this bag on the street and I do understand why. It's such a great lightweight bag. It's got that nylon texture that feels very trendy right now and it can make an outfit feel really modern. I've undernawed over this bag in this kind of beigey color. I'll put a picture of that on the screen and down below. 
That is probably my favorite color of the option. And then the bag I really love and my mom currently has because she also loves it is the Uniqlo U nylon bag that they currently do. It's huge. It's got this like drawstring at the top. It kind of folds over itself. Very slouchy, very oversized. And I think it just looks so chic in an outfit. It makes an outfit feel like very cool and modern. And it actually takes me back to my Japanese fashion video where I saw a lot of people in Japan wearing bags similar to this. If you want a lightweight, practical bag for running errands, um, if you want it for travel, I feel like this bag is really great, the Crescent one. For me, I feel like I haven't gotten it because I do have a nylon bag, which I enjoy. For my bags, I do usually want something that's a little bit more detailed, a little bit more elevated to compensate for how simple my outfits often are. But for practicality, I see so much appeal in that bag and I definitely understand why it's so popular. These are the pieces that I consider to be the very best pieces you can find at Uniqlo right now. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite pieces from Uniqlo so I can go check them out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And this is a video that I'm always going to be referring back to. Anytime someone asks for a droop of something, I feel like I'm gonna find it at Uniqlo. I usually do. Whether that's a droop of more luxury trousers or you know, searching for a good t-shirt, I always point people to Uniqlo. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to go like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys have a lovely week, and I'll actually be seeing you in a few days because I've got a midweek video coming up next week. So see you then. Bye.